How do you find the y-intercept of a parabola? Well, I could tell you that it depends on the form that the parabola is written in, but it doesn't. It's always the same method for all three forms. The method is to set x equal to 0 and then solve for y. That's pretty easy, especially if it's written in y equals form. Here's what I mean. You're, if you're given the equation in standard form, for example, y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 48, all you have to do is rewrite it, but everywhere that it says x, you write 0. 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 48. Now you can do that all on your calculator at once, or you could do it piece by piece. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is also 0. 4 times 0 is 0, and then you can take away 48. 0 plus 0 minus 48 gives you negative 48. Your y-intercept is negative 48. Done! It's true if you have it in factored form as well. You can do 2 times, replace x with 0. That becomes 0 minus 4, and this x plus 6 becomes 0 plus 6. Now you gotta do what's in brackets first, because that's how Vedmus works. 2 times 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 0 plus 6 is 6. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 6 is negative 96. Great. Looks good to me. And then if we want to do it in vertex form, you can replace that x with 0. 2 times, now in vertex form, you're going to have x in brackets with something else probably, and squared. 0 plus 1, all squared. Now I'm just going to do the math here. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And 2 times that is 2. That's 2 minus 50. I get negative 48 for the y-intercept of this one. Now that makes sense to me because I actually rigged this one to be the same as this one. And I meant to rig this one to be the same, but I must have made a mistake. Oh, well. The point is you find the y-intercept by replacing all of your x's with 0. Then you just do the calculations to get what y is. This one was negative 48. This one was different and happened to be negative 96. This one happened to be negative 48. I like it. Just one extra thing to note, the actual coordinates of the y-intercept are going to be zero comma whatever number you got here. This one's zero comma negative 48. The coordinates of the y-intercept are zero comma negative 96. And the coordinates are zero comma negative 48 for this one as well. Just throwing it out there. It's not too much or not, it's not hard work. You just have to remember to let x be zero. Best of luck.